A Kid's Book About Depression by Kylia McElvain. Hi, my name is Kylia, and I have depression. Have you ever heard the word depression before? It might sound new, strange, or even scary. But it's actually something a lot of people have. I am one of those people. Let me share my story with you. I don't remember the first time I felt my depression. I didn't even know that what I was feeling had a name. But it felt like being trapped in a fog that I couldn't see through clearly. Talking, laughing, and doing fun things didn't seem to matter anymore. Color even seemed to lose its color. Songs sounded like noise, and nothing felt kind or beautiful or safe. When I felt depressed, it made me feel lonely and scared. Like if I felt too much sadness, I would get swallowed up in a fog and disappear. Everything made me feel like crying or being angry, sometimes for no reason at all. And sometimes I didn't feel even when I wanted to. It seemed like anything I did or said was wrong and that I wasn't ever enough. And the longer that this went on, the more I would feel useless, wrong, bad, lonely, scared, invisible. And of course, I thought I was the only one who felt this way. But maybe I wasn't the only one. Have you ever felt this way? Like there's a wall separating you from everyone else? Like you can't be happy no matter how hard you try? Like you don't get to choose how you feel? Like everyone thinks you're fine, but you're not. That's depression. Depression is a disorder that causes the brain to feel so sad, discouraged and lonely that it gets in the way of living everyday life. So how did I find out I had depression? Well, one day I started to cry, and I couldn't stop. And words and tears came flooding out of me like an ocean. And I told the most important person in my life all of the things that I had been feeling inside of me, the things that they couldn't see. I told this person about the fog, the sadness, and the loneliness. And they hugged me. And they finally saw what was going on inside of me. Finally, I wasn't alone anymore. I didn't know exactly what I needed, but I knew that I needed help. So I got help, and help looked like this. Meeting with a doctor, letting myself feel, talking to others, giving myself a break, trying medicine, doing things I loved again, not having to be alone. If you feel like this now or ever have before, help may look like telling someone you feel safe with, talking with a counselor, letting others take care of you, helping others in need, or trying medicine. When I got help, something amazing started happening. Sharing about my depression took the bricks from the walls built around my heart and turned them into a bridge a bridge back to me, the real me. And I started to notice all of the color and music and smiles around me again. I could sit in the sunlight and laugh without pretending anymore. I was learning to see through the darkness and the fog without letting it take over. So now, when I start to feel depressed, I remember I'm not alone. Tell someone how I'm feeling. Do something that makes me happy and ask for help. 